Though we had a bit of snow in January, the temperatures in February have been really high in my little corner of France for midwinter, about 10 degrees warmer than usual. So as late winter flowers are already available, I planted some colorful primroses in my windows boxes. I doubt snowflakes will come back this year. I'm still hopeful, but well, it doesn't look like they are going to come back anytime soon. So for now, I decided to plant some early spring, late winter flowers because the temperatures are still pretty warm. I even planted a begonia, though here I can't really keep it. During the summer season, it's really too hot and warm and sunny and usually they burn in both sides of my apartment. In no windows, I can't have begonia, but well, for now, they're going to cheer up the windows, I thought. After finishing my Christmas and winter workshop, it was at last time to refresh and tidy the studio, which was very, very messy. And also to add a few flowers, to also change a bit the atmosphere and to do a nice transition. To surround myself with more beauty, I found in the last shop in my town, which still sells CDs, which is very rare these days, so I found this beautiful disc by Alessandro Scarlatti, a Baroque composer, which I know a bit, but I don't know all his music. And the title of the disc is A Baroque Influencer, which I thought was pretty fun. And the disc is filled with treasures and very, very beautiful music. So I was very happy to discover and to find it. Now it's time to tidy as it's really too messy to do anything. I wanted to change my pelmen frames, which are on my wall. And I have two of them just to change quotes and find inspiring pictures and things I like. But I didn't find all of them for the big frame yet. I'm going also to change the wallpaper for my desk. I use wallpaper to protect the desk and rather to protect my art from the desk. I'm reusing some leftovers of different walls of wallpapers I have uh, because I painted in chalk paint many years ago. I had many videos about that and it has absolutely been a nightmare ever since. I did everything you were supposed to do with the wax and everything, but it had been a nightmare for, for the work I'm doing, the art I'm doing. It has consistently stained my art for all these past years I always found some green everywhere in places I would never expect to find green so it, yes it's definitely not a, the sort of paint I will ever use again in my home I'm going to repaint my desk hopefully very soon with a good old chemical glycero paint and I know it's not nice it's not environmental friendly but it's just the the paint I know which is reliable and it's not going to go away and it's go not going to stain anything because this shock pain I can tell you has been a nightmare it has made me waste so much time because every time I had to fix the stain it created fix all the problem it created on my art for my smaller pell-mell I added some different pictures coming from medieval manuscripts, which are going to be a source of inspiration for the creation I have to create for the exhibition um, I'm taking part to this spring. So it's just related to the art work I have to do. Thank you. 
weeks I was working on finishing actually the winter carousel. It's the reason I was not on YouTube and I couldn't upload videos on YouTube. I have a lot of things coming though, so don't worry, I will catch up in the next and the upcoming weeks. But I was happy to finish the winter carousel, which was a real challenging workshop for me to film, create and edit. It was definitely more challenging than well, I would say most, there are always challenges which come with all of them because usually I do something a bit new or sometimes something I didn't do for a long time or didn't do this way. I have a lot of adaptations to do. And for this one, I had a lot of things to adapt because when I was doing my carousel many, many years ago, back in 2010, 2012, I did um, about 10 or 12 carousel in total. I was doing them with my father, actually, who was helping me with the mechanism which was made in metal and wood and it was a pretty advanced techno little technology he had created uh, my father was actually a jack of all trade but master of everything he could really do everything manually from painting really well from drawing really well really well uh, making pieces of furniture building a house doing some plumbing electricity whatever you want to do he could do it he could fix any problem too so i grew up definitely with the example of you need to rely on yourself and find your own solution. So it's uh, an example I have seen and I thought it was pretty normal, honestly. When I grew up, I thought, of course, you have to find your solution and create your own things and um, rely on yourself and not only seek for help outside. And um, I think it definitely helped me a lot. So for this workshop, I had to adapt what we were doing. My father passed away, so I couldn't ask him how I could adapt his techniques with um, what I wanted to do here also because we would not work with wood and metal or anything like that so I had to readapt everything and it was definitely a challenge it took me way longer than I thought it would it's always really uplifting and satisfying when you find your own solution and something I love actually in my art in my creation that's the thing that's the reason I would never try to imitate and copy anyone one I would be totally ashamed of it and second it would totally ruin the joy of finding your things which for me is the, the most precious thing in creating. You find your thing and um, this is something I love doing. That's the reason I create. The Winter Carousel will come back next Christmas season, winter season on its own. It's not going to be available with the antique puppets anymore. It's going to be totally on its own. But if you join last year or this year in, in December or January, it won't affect you. It won't change anything for you. It's going to be changed for the new person who come because the carousel is actually a big workshop and there is no reason to have it with something else. It needs to be on its own as a real workshop. So uh, the, we can say now the winter carousel workshop will come back next Christmas season. So right now I'm going to continue to work on my book project, White Cat. I still have a lot of work to do, so the book is absolutely not finished. As I mentioned in my first video, in January I left this project sleeping in a corner of the studio for six months and now I'm really back to it and I'm so pleased with my second desk because it really makes the work more enjoyable and I feel more tempted to work on it uh, every day really, even if I can't spend uh, the entire day on it every day I still uh, made really more progress now that I have my second desk than before so I'm really pleased with that and you're going to see this time it's really true the full white cat uh, update in the next video 
and the audiobook I mentioned a little while ago uh, is going to be ready so I only did the presentation in this audiobook and my partner in crime in many projects to come who was the voice of Alexandre T in the Alexandre T's video series if you have watched it he is the narrator of the fairy tale and he has decided to offer the audiobook for a few months for free so you will have the possibility to download it and to have it in your collection of audiobooks if you like stories and to be told stories all the details will be shared in the next video before the audiobook is ready which is going to be in a few days you can follow Mr. Caldwell on his YouTube channel he has just started this way you can give him a bit of encouragement it's not easy to start on YouTube if you subscribe it's definitely going to motivate and encourage him and I'm not narrating it completely because I'm French obviously and English is not my native language and it's pretty hard to do that for a, a long text like that it's one hour and a half of text to read and to read it well <laughs> I'm already taught on a regular basis I receive these sort of messages on a regular basis of English native speakers who write to me to say that they have no idea what I'm saying in my videos they can't understand a word of, because of my accent and my pronunciation which is always funny I found that pretty funny that they can't even understand a word I imagine they didn't travel a lot I would imagine they didn't travel at all actually so they never heard any other accents from their own language I suppose but I would imagine that maybe people would be irritated if I uh, would narrate a long story like that so we'll see maybe at some point I will do something but for now I'm not comfortable enough I did a presentation and a historical presentation of the fairy tale though that you will have in the story I'm also working on the medieval garden piece I have to create for the exhibition I mentioned and I need to start really um, properly now to work on this on this piece and I will share also in a video series my progress on this piece which is all inspired by several manuscripts of the medieval era which are celebrating the garden and the, all the specificity of the medieval garden so it's also a very exciting project and you're going to have more updates soon I'm also reorganizing many parts of my kingdom and I wanted to improve a bit my entrance hall because so far I only had my big black trunk which I found many many years ago to instead to do something more joyful and inviting in the entrance hall with smaller pieces of furniture and something a little more practical and convenient with a like a little table some joyful frames I already had of course I didn't buy anything at all I just changed a bit the organization and put some frames I had in another room and put them here just to have something nice when I open the door when I come back home and I also added a chair because I thought a chair is pretty useful in an entrance hall for your guests to take off shoes so I put the chair I had previously in my bedroom which was I was not really using and put it rather here And now I only have a tiny small box of junk which needs to go to the recycling center. And if you like the 18th century shoe houses, you have the possibility to join the 18th century shoe house workshop till March 5th. It's a pretty fun workshop, not very, very difficult, quite easy and fun to complete. And uh, it's going to be open for a few weeks, so if you are interested, you can join. Of course, as usual, once in a while, you keep access to the video content and you can start your shoe at any time when you want, a little later, if you can't do it right now. No problem with that. As usual, we have some complimentary uh, calls just to help you, motivate you, help you get started, uh, solve problems, meet others too, which is really nice. So you just have the link if you want to join under this video and on my website at learnthemagicofpaper.com.
Thank you very much for watching this little update. I will leave you there. I will continue to work on my white cards. I have things to do and the light is not too bad, so I will take advantage of that. And on the medieval piece, I have to start. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss all the nice videos coming and the little surprises. And you can give a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. I see you very soon.